Hello boys and girls, your friendly neighborhood strongman here and today we're going to be talking about pressing when it comes to strongman. We put a whole series together about exercises and muscle groups specific to strongman training, why you should do them to be specific and a better strongman athlete, uh, but today we're going to cover something about the press. Now background information on myself is I come from an Olympic lifting background, uh, so I was heavily doing cleaning jerks and snatches for a few years in my career at a pretty high level, totaling over 350 kg uh, between those lifts. So when doing the clean and jerks, uh, something I really picked up on early in my strongman career was doing the jerk variations to help give me uh, basically the best edge possible in competition or just to stay with how strong some of those athletes were. So uh, for me, they're very important being able to do those different variations. And I really think that they're gonna transfer over in strongman, especially for you guys who are like me, who wanna have that edge, or you guys are just looking to keep up uh, with the strength level when it comes to strongman. So we're gonna talk about some of the different uh, basic pressing variations all the way up to the jerk variations. Uh, and I'm gonna demonstrate some things here and there, I'll give you guys some, some tips and pointers to think about as you're watching uh, B-roll of footage and just kind of putting that connection to what I'm saying. All right, so we're gonna start off by just going over the most basic press. That's just gonna be the strict press, right? Or the overhead press, basically, uh, which involves no leg drive, no double knee bend, all those fancy terms. It's literally going to be just taking a barbell from the rack position or after a clean and just pressing it overhead. Now, when we think about these variations, okay, when it comes to the most basic variation, we're gonna be super stable because there's no technically movement happening, um, but it's gonna limit the amount of weight we can put overhead. Now, as we climb up in the different variations, it's going to be an inverse related relationship. So what that means is basically we'll be able to put up more weight, but we're going to be less stable. So it's more technically challenging uh, the higher we go. So when it comes to a strict press for strongman, if the weight is light enough and you can bang out enough reps and you wanna stay as quick as possible, go for it, okay? It's probably gonna be the quickest variation that you can do in terms of a rep count uh, because the other ones take a little bit more time, but you're gonna be limited by your shoulders. And once your shoulder strength goes, it's gonna take some time to recover those shoulders. So in my opinion, it's not the best uh, variation to use when it comes to strongman, uh, but we wanna make sure that we are training it, okay? And we also wanna make sure that we have it as a fallback plan uh, if we need to kind of crank out a couple more reps than we can with strict press, or if we want to start off with doing some strict press and then go into another variation. So uh, this is just with an axle bar because it is strongman training. So I've done a ton of overhead press videos, so you guys should click the playlist and watch. But basically all we're doing, there's no leg drive or anything like that. Pressing up, okay, nice and stable, back down. Pressing up, stable, back down. Okay, getting that head out of the way. Straight line, straight up and down, pushing that window open, saying what's up to your friends, closing the window, and just going back into your room, because that's where you belong. So that's the first one, strict press, and my thoughts on it with Strowman. All right, my friends. So the second pressing variation is gonna be the push press. And I no longer have an axle, I have a lob. So thoughts on the push press. You're gonna see most strong men, strong women, strong people that compete in strong things using the push press. Uh, and the reason is because we get a little bit of leg drive so we can put more weight overhead and we still have some good stability with this. Not as much as a strict press because there is some movement involved, right? We have the dip and the press using the leg drive, uh, but it's not as technically challenging as the jerk variations uh, and we're still going to be able to work heavier than the strict press. So that's why a lot of people like using the push press involved with strongman. You'll see all the, the big world strongest man guys, for the most part, I'd say like 90% of them are gonna be doing a push press for their pressing variations. And to be honest with you, if you can get your push press really strong, uh, more power to you. You know, that's only gonna help with all the other variations. Um, but at the same time, just something to consider is it's gonna be probably one of the most common ones. Um, and if you're starting off, I would suggest getting used to doing push pressing, uh, but it's not gonna be the one that's gonna give you the most amount of weight overhead. So, have this log, right? We're gonna clean it up. Just like so. So with the push press, we get set. We're gonna dip our knees down, use the leg drive, lock out the press. So we're dipping, 
Driving up, bring it back down. Dip, drive, just like so. So with that, a little bit more technical. We do have the dip and the drive portion uh, when we're doing this. It's not a tutorial video on how to push press, but if you wanna check out those videos, keep hitting that playlist where I go over all these different things. But uh, like I said, it's gonna be the most common press and straw man, something you should be familiar with. Uh, once again, not gonna be the heaviest press variation. Those are coming up next, so let's get to it. All right guys, last pressing variations, and we'll wrap this video up, is gonna be the jerk variations. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I have an Olympic lifting background, and when we do uh, the clean and press or clean and jerk, we tend to use either the push jerk or the split jerk. Now in my opinion, for me personally, these are the best variations to use uh, because when I was getting into the sport, I didn't have the raw strength that a lot of these strongman competitors had. So for me, I wanted to try to beat them technically. So when I looked at what were my skill sets and I was pretty proficient at the jerks, I wanted to use the jerk uh, as a way to be able to keep up with their strength. And then that bought me time over the last couple of years to strengthen my shoulders and that only made my jerks get stronger because I have more mass, right? More strength, I'm a little bit more explosive than I was in the past. So, um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you guys learn how to do the push jerk and the split jerk. And I made these videos years and years ago for you guys to check out, uh, so they're linked throughout this video. But if you can master or get pretty proficient in the push jerk or the split jerk, it's gonna allow you to put the most amount of weight overhead. Um, and it's really gonna come in handy when you do have like one rep max clean and press events or a, a max press event, which you'll see. And even things like a circus dumbbell, for example, okay? Getting used to the movement patterns for a jerk is gonna transfer over when you do have those odd object lifts for pressing in strongman. So we'll cover it real quick here, guys. Uh, but like I said, not a tutorial video. Check out the tutorial videos for how to do this. So we're gonna get under the bar, right? We got our grip set. We're gonna do the push jerk first. So I dip down, punch, catch, stand. So we dip, punch, catch, stand. All right, so there's that double knee dip. Now we got the split jerk, okay, right here. Dip, split stance, front foot, back foot, back down. Dip, punch, front foot, back foot, back down. So that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to go over some pressing variations, when to use them, why to use them, how to use them uh, in the sport of strongman training. So if you liked the video, smash the like button, subscribe, check out all the stuff we have here on the channel. Go to zastrength.net, purchase a program. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions, comment down below. I like to hang out in the comment sections and answer all your questions. So stay a lean mean strength machine guys. Catch me next time, peace.